Okay, and we are back. So now we are Mabinogi, and we're just gonna jump right into Xanified Neko today. So, in our last uh, Gen 1 video, we got to uh, Ernanag. And we need to talk to Dougal. So, where's that quest set? Right over here. So, look for villagers. Google's the only one. Tangshin is not the only one. My name is 사람을 본지도 오래되어 적적하던 참이었는데 왜 혼자 남았느냐고요? 여러 가지 사정이 있지만 별로 좋아서 남아 있는 건 아닙니다. 응? 뭐라고요? 여기가 태어난 오이가 아니냐고요? <웃음> 그런 말도 안 되는 소리를 듣게 되다니. 이봐요. 이곳이 질병과 죽음이 없는 세계 트렌드. 게다가 이 마을은 마족의 침공을 받아 어디서 헛소문이라도 듣고 온 모양이군. 이곳은 이젠 마... 그래도 기왕 온 것, 둘러보고 싶다면 얼마든지 둘러보십시오. 그리고 당신은 이곳의 사람이 아니기 때문에 이쪽에서 육체의 자유를 잃어버릴 경우 너무 많은 고생을 하게 될것 같다는 생각이 드네요. 그렇습니다. 이곳에서는 당신의 파티를 제외하고는 특별한 아이템이 없다면 당신이 행동할 수 없는 상태가 되었을 때는 당신이 온 세계로 돌아가게 됩니다. 다른 세계의 인간으로서 당연히 감수해야 할 바라고 생각합니다만 혹시 에디드 소울 현상에 대해서 아시는지요? 영혼이 자신의 한 부분이었던 육신을 떠나지 못해 주변을 네 당신의 영혼이 쓰러진 육신을 떠나지 않고 주변을 맴돈다면 굿. 하지만 영혼을 다루는 것은 역시 위험한 일. 자칫하다가는 당신도 저 무덤 뒤편의 좀비들과 같은 신세가 될 수도 있죠. 그래서 말인데 일단 제 생각이 맞는지 확인을 해봐야 할것 같습니다. 영혼이 없는 존재인 좀비들을 쓰러뜨려 어떻습니까? 한 번. Okay, so. Defeat a zombie in the graveyard. Yeah, hopefully we'll finish Gen 1 today. I'm thinking we will. There is still a little bit to do. Like, we have to, like, beat Albi Dungeon about three times, I think, and one of those dungeons is, like, really long. But aside from that, it should be relatively easy. A lot of ancient zombies out here. I don't want to take them on right now. Okay, so we defeated one zombie. And let's report the results to Duel. Sengakteruimida. 에디드 소울 현상을 이용해서 당신의 영혼을 이 주변에 머물게 할수 있습니다. 당신이 저를 믿는다면 이제부터 당신은 이곳에서 쓰러져도 언데드가 되지 않습니다. 네, 저의 육체와 정신이 당신이 이곳에서 부활할 수 있을 만큼의 힘으로 당신과 교류하고 있는 것이죠. 
이런 저랑 교류한다는 게 뭔가 탐탁치 않으십니까? <웃음> 행동불능이 되어 움직일 수 없는 상황이 되었을 때도 이제는 제 근처로 오실 수 있습니다. 기억해. Not like it's a big deal anyway. I can just walk in here anytime I want. Alright. So let's see. Find the black orb. So you use a small green gem to enter Albi Dungeon. Yeah. Okay, so we gotta get a small green gem. I think that just drops my zombies. So let's go in here and kill them until we get it. And some of these zombies drop a decent amount of gold, so we're going to summon up a doll bag. Assuming this might take a little while, we'll make a little profit while we're here. Oh, and here's the green gem we need. That didn't take too long. Let's, uh... Oh, wait. No, that one. I have that one, though. So we'll hop on here. Do we have any revive feathers anywhere? Oh, yeah, we do. Okay, we'll get that pet up and running, too, before we, uh, actually go into the dungeon. Because that Fallen Fairy's burn effect is very helpful for certain enemies. Uh, it might come in handy here for Xanified Neko. Okay, so here's the entrance. I love Turnanag, it's a great place. So... That Fallen Fairy, 11 more seconds. Eight more seconds. Five, three, one. Okay, yeah, there we go. And, uh, we just take one of these full recovery things. That? Yeah, that'll work. Okay. And now let's drop that green gem, so... Move all this expired crap. Oh, and here's the green gem. I have two green gems. I guess Dougal must have given me one. It used to be that you had to, like, kill zombies to get the green gem. I guess it changed. I wonder if that changed when they did the chapter update. Or if that was, like, a change that, like, happens, like, a, a year or two. This dungeon music is pretty badass, too. I don't like it. Okay, my clock. Quest info. We're down. Right there. We can ignore this room. Let's go. 
go this way. Eventually, I'll need to come back here for this transformation. I mean, you can find these guys in, like, other... ...dungeons, but, like, you need dungeon passes to get to those. Albi Dungeon has a lot of useful monsters uh, for collecting certain transformations without the need of like dungeon passes. Yeah, let's go over here. And we'll be coming back here for flying swords too. That's a Reg C transformation. And Ratman is another transformation we'll be coming back here for later. Like, Ratman are like in a CR dungeon, and you need a dungeon pass to get to them. But they appear in normal Albi dungeon and a couple of the gem modes too. Like, right now we're in the green gem Albi dungeon, and you can use like a red and silver gem and like a blue gem to access different versions of it. Most of them have Ratman. And the Black Pearl Dungeon is only for Story. I think that's the longest version of like Albi Dungeon. I think that one's like uh, three floors.
Okay, those guys hit hard. I can't use now stones in here, can I? Yeah, that's right. Okay. So we'll have to do that dungeon again. Um, let's see. Okay, since these are relatively cheap, we're gonna get some uh, balloons. Revive balloons are a good way to revive yourself if you don't have like anyone with you when you're going into uh, Alby or Bowel Dungeon. Oh, okay, only one accessory at a time for now. Let's take a look at light armor. Okay, we can't take that up quite yet. Soon. Alright, let's try again. We have one more green gem, so it's fine. And now we go back. just need like uh, base herbs and then if you if you use like uh, blue gems or red gems like small blue gems or small red gems you can just make magic powder really easy and like uh, a couple months ago we got like an update that allows us to grow like most herbs in our homesteads now. The only kind of herb you can't grow in your homestead now is antidote herbs. But they added like poison, baser, uh, they added poison and like mandrake and white herbs. I'm not sure why they didn't add antidote herbs when they like added those other kinds. Like why was that left out? Seems kind of weird. Hopefully they'll get added one day. Okay, so in case we somehow fail again, which I don't think we will, uh, we're gonna take that green gem. And then we'll go this way. Like, with up to 10 revives in here, thanks to the things I have, it's very unlikely that we'll die again. And, like, be sent out of the dungeon, but never know. The boss room might be a little challenging. We 
can take up any chain related thing. Yeah, we can take up chain blade mastery. And let's leave this open because Fortress Snatch is almost there. Second, so it's so until it officially is. Okay, let's do that. Get through here a little bit faster. Elves may be like the fastest race, but there's still no match for mounts. Okay, let's get to floor two. And now let's go over here. Okay, so now we can take up Light Armor Mastery. Level up available, then why is AP Train still showing up here? Here we go. Fence. Okay, rank C. gargoyles, so we gotta be careful in here.
Here we go, lower your guard. That's why having a revive balloon is kind of nice. Okay, let's walk. Alright, we won. So let's go back here and then let's uh, find this thing and then attack it until the uh, black orb drops. So we need to grab that. Use the black orb to get into Albi Dungeon and clear it. So open this chest. There's not much in there, but something. Okay, we'll leave. And what was the other pet I got killed, like, the last time I was playing with the Sanified Neko? It was one of the dogs. You? No, you're fine. I think it was the other one. Yeah, you're dead. So let's revive you, and he's a full revive. Because the final boss of uh, G1, we're probably going to use, like, uh, we're gonna, probably going to let my pet do a lot of fighting in it. Alright, uh, anything I can take up? Okay, we can learn some of these gun skills. I'll okay. give us one HP, one stamina. This one will give us two HP, so that's five HP and a stamina total. That's not bad. And let's do a little transforming really quick. We can earn points for transformation mastery by doing that. We should have 98, 99, two more transformations.
Okay, Transformation Mastery can be upgraded. So this will allow us to start collecting the rank C ranks. And also it will give us... The, the main reason I'm transforming to get the remaining experience is so we can get the stats from it. So 3 HP, 3 Stamina, and 1 Strength. Alright, and let's uh, enter the uh, Black Orb dungeon. So the Black Orb will be in your me inventory. It's a 2x2 two two item, so use this. I think we have to clear this one, and then after that we talk to, like, Dougal, and then we get, like, one more dungeon where we fight, like, the final, uh, Gen 1 boss. And if I remember right, this dungeon's, like, about three floors, but it did say some parts of, like, uh, the story would be shortened. To make it a little bit less tedious. So maybe it's, uh... Maybe it won't be like I remember. Okay, so let's go in here. Over here. Oh, a lot of wolf werewolves. between us. Guys out. Crisis Escape is very useful. That's one reason why I rebirthed that hero talent right away. Come on. There you go. Okay, fine, we'll just do that then. Freeze you up. No pressure. I can't wait forever on him. Put him to sleep. And attack. Let's use some normal attacks on this guy, get some of our. Uh, Our torture back up. transformation so we will get some points on those. Okay, this is the real one. Okay, this time it doesn't mix.
higher rank C transformation. Skeletons is one of the transformations we need to do. We'll probably collect a few transformations while we're in here, but I'm not going to use a Dreamcatcher or create a party to get more points on those at the moment. Like, right now I'm focusing on Gen 1 content and that's what I want to focus on. that.
guys out with pets again. These normal attacks means more fortune. Oh, there's still that one in the corner too. And That transformation. Hey, Ratman are done.
langsam mal ab jetzt. Oh. And that one opens fairly easily. We got lucky on that one. Okay, werewolves. A lot of these guys. Uh, crisis escape, get the aggro off us, and can target him. Awesome. Okay. Put a little bit of 
distance between us and them. So this time it's no SARS. Which are actually really easy. And I even know. Yeah, if I remember correctly, I took him on with Sanified Cat. When I took on the final boss of G1 with Sanified Cat, I think I let my pets do a lot of work too, and just had him distracted with, like, three of my best pets, and then I just uh, attacked him on side. So we'll be doing that again. So that dungeon is done. And now we gotta go talk to Dougal. So let's go back to him. Hunter's 알고 있으니까 와서 이런 이야기를 한 거겠죠? 그렇습니다. 나 역시 당신과 같은 다른 세계의 영혼. 당신들은 아마 나를 글라스 디브넨이라는 이름으로 부를 겁니다. 이 세계의 인간들에 의해 내 의지와 상관없이 
소환된 몸을 되찾고자 이곳에 왔지만 그만 이 땅의 마지막까지 남아있던 인간의 몸에 빙이 되는 덕분에 결국 이런 꼴이 되고 말았군요 본체의 영향으로 다리도 제대로 쓰지 못하는 유약한 인간의 모습으로 이젠 모든 걸 알았으니 내 본래의 목적을 추구해야겠군요 여신도 아마 그걸 알고 당신을 나에게 보낸 거겠지요 네 목적? 물론 내 진짜 몸의 자유를 찾는 것 원래 여신의 펜던트는 다른 세계를 가르는 열쇠 원한다면 하지만 소환자의 의지에 복종할 내 육신은 인간 따위는 쉽게 날려버릴 정도로 강할 텐데 당신을 이대로 믿어도 좋을지 모르겠군요 나에게 장담할 수 있겠습니까? 응. Okay, so now we... Give Dougal the pendant of the goddess. Okay. 좋습니다. Let's start again. Albei dungeon으로 가서 패턴이 새겨진 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 
This is also a transformation. But it's like one of the later rank transformations. Ow. Okay, at least it didn't kill me. Let's use the Nimbuses and back to the boat. And let's go this way. And down here. Hellhounds are like the boss in a uh, math dungeon on Armor. be upgraded, so let's advance that. Can we take anything else up? Okay. Nah, just chain crush for now. Alright, that's fine. Uh, okay, we're done collecting the skeleton transformation. And the key we need is here. And let's get this guy. are very common. You can find them in like the Bravi Dungeon and uh, quite a few others. They're not hard at all. Small blue gem too.
Beats Planet. Okay, that one leads downstairs, so we need to go over here to get a key. Stupid dialogue is making it hard to see like what he's doing. Please control N.
focus on the next floor. Grab this blue gem over here too. Finished getting flying swords. I know that's a rank C transfer. Like we fought a few of them, we even got any points, so I've been doing seven. Or we already got them. Yeah, we finished those, okay. Not that I'm really making an effort to collect them right now anyway, it's just sort of happening. Alright, we got our key. And let's get on our new bus. 
There's a lot of options here. Let's see. Which way do I go? Three pathways. Fun. Alright, let's go this way first. Dead end. And what about this way? Another dead end. Let's go this way, so... There's only one path left. This one... Alright. Well, let's take out these flying swords. Half me. Strong though. I mean, I even gotten hurt once by these ghost armors, so they're not that powerful. Alright. Go through here. And there's another flight of stairs. I think this is the last level though. Using chain crush a little bit more.
That was a boss room. Oh, that just has lost meters, though, anyway. God is pass. Okay, so there's like one more like dungeon we'll have to come back with that pass. So we have to run the dungeon four times, not three times. Great, the Dark Lord. One of the easiest bosses in the game. Now you can challenge. Alright, cutscene. Much be command, not command. <laughs> there are a couple of typos in, in like, the text, but for the most part it's fine. The voice acting is good. Instead of just fighting the boss. Oh wait, there it is. Are we like fighting it now or are we coming back? Because we got like a pass. Well, okay, we can take it on now, I don't mind. I prefer to get it out now. Okay, so let's get close to him for starters and then we'll use Crisis Escape. We'll use a pet summon spam. And we'll use Fallen Fairy. Okay, I need to summon my Fallen Fairy. all of them are stupid enough to like come over here and try and take me out.
Okay, and now let's use Crisis Escape, and then let's pull out a pet. It'll be fine. Yeah, my pet's doing much better than I am. Can't leave these things out here. They're just gonna get in my way. Crisis escape. Let's hit that. That. Let's put some boss. Yeah, that's fine. We still have two revives on that one left. We have one more. has one revive left. <clears throat> so let's take him out. About half his health is gone. Crisis Escape. I'm gonna let my dog fight him for a little bit, and we're going to use a full recovery potion. Then we'll go back in. back in here or not. I'm curious why I got that dungeon pass if like this is where it ends. Well, my pet didn't know so it would work. So it's a chinta yoshinyanya. So no one Aratan Maringa Maura Seo. コンモスベクエデネ人間へアドナムンテーマボプサラブリネニエゲジョチャドイエベガニボンスリプンニリアクラスギブネネチョロケヤカゲマンドロセチョンドロナレミチアナスミンソチョンジャンネチョンチェリ
인간 주제 신봉 자비를 구하라고 하는 게 말이 된다고 생각 설마 글라스 기분에 내쓰러뜨린 것만으로 내 계획을 좌절시켰다고 생각하는가 인간의 마법사요 정말 한심하군 허세부리지 마라 이 세계에서 사라져야 할 존재여 <웃음> 여전히 멍청하군 마우러스 이것은 내 계획의 시작일 뿐이다 글라스 기분에 니 쓰러지면 어떤 일이 일어나는지는 직접 만든 니놈이 더잘 알텐데 에르그의 붕괴, 두 세계의 연결 그래, 그랬었군 기홀 뭘 이제 왔어 새삼스럽군 잘도 나를 이용해 먹었군 저것은 내가 불러낸 글라스 기분엔이 만든 결과 나의 불찰 나는 내 죄값을 치르겠다 내 목숨을 바쳐 모든 것을 끝내겠다 바로 이 자리에서 너와 함께 말이다! 인간의 마법사 어림없는 소리 네 죄값 따위를 들어 나를 끌어들이지 마라 그런 시시한 것과는 상관없이 너희 인간들은 이 세상에서 사라져야 할 존재 저 풍내기들과 함께 다 쓸어버려주라 나와 겨루겠다는 건가 키홀 나이가 들었다지만 나 역시 만화의 힘으로 마법을 수련하는 존재 신이라 하더라도 무섭게 보지 마라! 다르겠어 애들아 다우사비 이 세계를 좀먹는 분돈의 존재 사라져 <웃음> 어서 이곳을 떠나! 야 <웃음> 지금 너의 힘으로는 놈의 이길 수 없어. 다카사미, 메데 다우사미. 안 돼! 벌써 끝난 건가, 마우러스? 마보, 만 그것은 본디 신일 것. 아무리 뛰어나다 해도 인간은 결국 흉내만 낼 뿐. 자신의 목숨 정도도 지킬 힘이 없다니 인간은 다들 이런 식이지. 이제 남은 건저 풋내기 뿐인가? 흠, 두려워하지는 마라. 그냥 인간으로 태어난 네 운명을 저주하면 될 것이다. 달카셀린, 메데르타, 사비. 여신의 이름으로 명합니다. 멈추세요! 오, 이게 누구야? 모리안이 싫어군. 저 풋내기가 의외로 꽤 부지런하게 굴었는걸. 여신까지 그 사이에 구해냈다니. 제 모습을 빌어서 거짓된 행동으로 인간의 세상을 교란시킨 것. 복수의 여신으로 그 대가를 요구합니다. <웃음> 나는 거짓을 보여준 적도 말한 적도 없다. 네 모습을 빌린 것은 비천한 인간들이 진실을 받아들이기 쉽게 하기 위한 일이었을 뿐이다. 서로 미워하고 싸우고 죽이는 그들의 모습을 보 그곳에는 어떠한 거짓도 없다. 모든 것은 인간들이 선택한 결과일 뿐이다. 발로레 유 
아버지를 이은 마족의 후계자여 어째서 인간의 세상을 그렇게도 증오하시는 것인지요? 두 번의 전쟁 말고도 더 흘릴 피를 찾으시는 이유가 무엇인지요? 전쟁에서 흘리는 것은 인간의 피뿐만이 아니지 않습니까? 포와르 역시 넌 뭔가 잘못 알고 있군, 머리 진정한 낙원을 만들기 위한 첫걸음은 인 포와르의 피값은 오직 그것만을 위해 존재한다 발로르는 이를 외면했기에 실패한 것이다 하지만 난 다르다 이 세계의 창조 원리는 인간이 사라질 때만 완성할 수 있다 너는 그것을 모르는가 모리라 너도 신이라면 알고 있을 것이다 우리를 창조한 절대 신들의 의지를 기홀 불쌍한 존재요 어찌 자신의 의지에 더 지고한 존재의 위험을 빌리려 하는지요 신의 뜻을 호도하려 하지 마십시오 너는 신이라고는 하지만 생각은 인간의 그것과 크게 다르지 않고 가엾은 일이다 당신의 뜻은 잘 알겠습니다 기홀 하지만 저는 복수의 여신 제가 봉인되어 당했던 수모와 슬픔을 당신께 갚아야 할 이유가 있습니다 각오하십시오 봉인에서 각 풀려난 몸으로? 지금은 그럴 때가 아닌 것 같군 모리안 다음번에 상대해주마 <웃음> 풋내기 글라스 기분에 내쓰러뜨린 것을 칭찬해두마 너희들을 기억해 급하게 왔습니다만 좀 늦었군요 다치신 곳은 없는지요 글라스 기분엔도 쓰러뜨려 주셨군요 감사합니다 글라스 기분엔이 쓰러지긴 했지만 이것으로 끝난 건 아니에요 모든 것은 이제 시작되었을 뿐입니다 정말 글라스 기분엔이 파괴되며 방출한 사악한 만화는 에린의 질서를 거스르는 것이어서 에린과 이 다른 세계를 잇는 통로를 만들어낸답니다 네, 키홀은 애초부터 그게 목표였어요 자신이 보내는 다크로드들이 던전을 통하지 않고 에린에 나타나게 하는 것 이제 저 사악한 만화가 저의 봉인을 파괴하고 두 개의 세계를 융합시키려 하는 것은 아무도 거스를 수 없는 순리 당신께서 돌아가서 마족의 침입에 대비해주세요 언젠가 그들은 다시 침략을 준비해 쳐들어올 거예요 제가 이곳을 막고 있겠지만 제 힘만으로는 에린을 보호할 수 없답니다 키홀의 야욕은 언젠가 세상을 모두 불태워버리고 말 거예요 다시는 마오로스와 같은 사람이 생기지 않도록 해주세요 네, 그것이 바로 소울스트림의 인도자 마리오타 마리가 당신을 소울스트림에서 불러낸 이유니까요 이젠 에린으로 돌아가세요 당신께 라이미라크와 아튼 시민이의 가호를 그리고 밀레시아님 당신이 앞으로 걸어야 할 길을 기억하세요 에린을 수호하는 빛으로 둘러싸인 거룩한 기사의 길을 Okay, we are done with Gen 1. So I'm gonna let the uh, credits play and I will be back when they are over.
Okay, so Gen 1 is done, and uh, I guess I can heal up this pet really quick. Now we can complete that. And let's get rid of the stall bag summon. So since the chapter update... Oh, we have a cutscene. メレシアン氏、照りなよ。마족들이 저 축복받은 에린의 대지를 휩쓰는 것도 멀지 않은 일. 밀리시안 씨, 빛의 기사의 길을 걸어주세요. 에린을 지켜주세요. 기억하세요. 빛의 기사의 길을. 그것은 인내와 고행의 길. 이멘 마하로 가세요. 이멘 마하는 빛의 기사들의 성지. 에린을 마족으로부터 지키려는 자들의 뜻이 모이는 장소. 이멘 마하에서 그 길을 찾아주세요. 
당신의 이름은 변하지 않는 에린의 희망 기홀이 자신의 마력을 보충하고 있는 지금 인간을 지킬 힘을 얻지 않는다면 에린에는 미래가 사라지고 말 거예요 부탁드립니다 이멘 마하로 가세요 그리고 빛의 기사가 되어주세요 언제나 바라보고 있어요 바로 당신을 Okay, so that was just setting us up for uh, Gen 2. But uh, yeah, since the chapter update, the voice acting for the characters, the voices for the characters is really good. I'm, I'm very impressed. All the voices seem like they fit really well so far. I love Dougal's voice, Duncan's voice. There were a lot of... NPCs involved with Gen 1, and they all had uh, very good voice acting. That made it a lot of fun replaying through Gen 1. So overall, I think I'm impressed by the voices the most. And we have... this box for clearing it. So 50 AP potion, let's use that. On those musical map dungeon passes expired. Let's just get rid of those. some gun training. There's a few like uh, <clears throat> dual gun lessons here. So I think I'll get those done. Or like right at the board anyway. Okay, so F3. circle thing as close to the enemy as you can when you're doing this so you'll hit them. Then let's try it. Okay, so now we're gonna try F3 and F4. So F5. Let 
me go back. So this is the way of the gun thing. Uh, so that's F7. And then as long as that bar is green, then uh, we have unlimited ammo. And that quest is done. And let's do the merchantile lesson as well. So we need to talk to Nunu at the uh, Dumbarton Trading Post. Let's go there. And this is going to teach us the uh, Gold Strike skill, which is one of the only two skills of the Merchantile Helm. Talk to him. Give him a thousand seasonal do cats. Yeah, we can do that. Okay, so gold strike is now available. How many seasonal do we have? Twenty-nine thousand. How much is the? Uh, and cart. Three thousand ducats? Yeah, let's get that. Oh, so I need normal ducats for that, not seasonal. Uh, there's a way to, like, convert seasonal ducats to normal ducats, but... Uh, I'll, I'll look into that later. Okay, so uh, transformations. Let's go after a couple of the easy rank C transformations. Oh, aardvarks are easy. Let's go after those guys. They're just outside of uh, Quilla. So mana tunnel, Quilla base camp. There's a lot of these ones. Here's one. Oh, it's an ancient. So let's create a party, rank C transformations. And then I'll set the finish rule to anyone in the party. That way I can kill them with my chain blade and collect them with my dream catcher. Talents are we in adventure? Good. That means we have the highest chance of collecting it. Okay. Another ancient one.
And there's our first point. Alright, we're done collecting this transformation. So what's next? Oh, jackals. So those are actually... These are warping. Where is, uh... Yeah, this one. We're going right back to Ternanag. Because there are a lot of jackals here. They're just right outside where the healer's house would be. Wait, those are dingoes. Okay, well it says uh, jackals are in... Um... Oh wait a minute, let me make sure there's not any here. It's been a while since I've hunted that one, but there might be... There's another kind of monster, like... Right out here. It's probably just dingoes. Okay, yeah. Well, let's go to Fiod then. Uh, Moongate, Garrick Hills. Yeah, Garrick Hills, Fiod Dungeon. It should just be in like the normal dungeon mode, so it shouldn't be a problem. Let's drop these mana herbs, not a big deal. Okay, and we'll change the party finish rule to biggest contributor until we encounter the dingoes. We'll probably encounter them, uh, or I mean the jackals, we'll probably encounter them right away. Like, they'll probably be in like one of the first two or three rooms.
Yeah, jackals should be in here. Let's see. Yeah, Fiat Dungeon. So we should find them soon. Okay, finally found some jackals. Get rid of these guys first. exactly why I wanted to kill those stupid gremlins first.
Okay, first point. Let's uh, use the counter just in case we're attacked, and we'll change the settings to the party. And then. Let's use my scooter pet because that one can actually attack while mounted. So we can hit more. Oh, and we have jackals in here. Nice. So, let's freeze everyone. Thing, jackals. Okay, so we're going to go after the penguins next. So those are in the Par Ruins. And uh, that mana tunnel is... On page 9, second one down. The Far Ruins is definitely one of my favorite dungeons. So let's use just one of these red gem center though. Fine. And
We'll change this to biggest contributor until we actually find the penguins. Leave the last penguin alive in case something else spawns after. Wait, nothing else is gonna spawn after. We got the key. Okay, so we're gonna have to come into the dungeon a second time. We'll change it to biggest contributor for now because we're probably not gonna encounter any more penguins in here during this run. We can use it as a sacrifice. Here it is.
Sometimes the movement in this dungeon is a little messed up. Probably because it's so... Alright, so... Drop garbage herbs and base herbs. All right, I need some ones. Let's go before the mission. Here we go. All right, so now we'll change the party rule back to anyone in the party. We got a key so we can kill them all. Okay, one point to go. We'll finish it in this room. Probably. It's so really unlucky. It's all small blue gem over there. I'm gonna go pick that up. And we're still going to finish the dungeon anyway because uh, there is a very low chance that a snowflake might drop at the end chest, which is needed to get into the other Par Ruins dungeon, which will be very valuable for getting a lot of other transformations later on. Let's turn this back to biggest computer. Now we have the boss key. But, I mean, it's worth taking the extra, like, three minutes just to clear this dungeon. I probably won't get the snowflake this time, but if I do get it, that would be... That would just be wonderful. Okay, so what's in here? Nothing? Weird. Occasionally you just get one of those weird rooms that has nothing in it. Or maybe I went the wrong way. Yeah, yeah, I went the wrong way. Let's go this way. This turns. Alright, let's take out the boss. Now we can leave. And what else is there to go after? Shadow Lancers would be easy, but I don't feel like going into a shadow mission. Blade Waverns are really difficult. We're not going to go after those for a while. Lightning Sprites are something I'm not going to go after for a little while. Hmm. I guess out of all of them, uh, Grizzly Bear or Shadow Lancer would probably be the probably be like the easiest. Could do some commerce, get some bandit goblins. Yeah, all right. I'm in. I'm in the mood for some commerce. That's fine. We'll we'll do that. I can't guarantee I'll complete the transformation today, but, you know, we'll, we'll get it, at least. So we'll go to the Dumbarton Trading Post.
and we'll do like one round of commerce and then that will be good for today's stream. Oh, actually, I would like to be able to carry more goods, so I think the way that you exchange, like, seasonal ducats for normal ducats is by, um... is by talking to a NPC outside, uh, at, at like, Port Quilla? Maybe it's the one at Port Sian, I don't know. Like, I read about it once, I've just never actually done it. Yeah, and this place has music now. Okay, so where's she at? Yeah, here she is. I'm not quite sure. I'll, I'll look into that later. Before we do some commerce, Danified Cat will be right back.
Okay, and we're back. So... Uh, I guess we'll just go to Dumbarton and start doing some commerce. Maybe it's exchange do cats. Yeah, here we go. So let's get get that. Figured it out. Now we have ten thousand. And now let's uh, spend the three thousand on the handcart. And how much does the wagon cost me? So wait, I had to buy the, uh, I had to buy the hand wagon, the hand cart with the uh, normal Ducats, but the other ones can be bought with seasonal. Huh. Weird. Alright, let's go. Backpack. Handcart. Handcart can hold more. I'm looking forward to getting the horse wagon. So, these will go for 13 ducats and, um. Uh, hang on, let's trade those. So, we're gonna go all the way to Bangor. And we're gonna see what, uh. We need to get the um, bandit goblin things. Oh, bandit humans, actually. So we're looking for the human ones. Alright. And uh, what are we set for? Let's set to anyone in the party. Cow is still stuck there. He'll probably be stuck there until tomorrow's maintenance. Now we'll get reset. There's a bandit close by. Okay, right over there. Yeah, we're gonna take you on. Got any humans? One. Very nice. our first point.
Okay, so there's some bandits up here. Kill that stupid wolf. I know it's gonna get in the way if I don't. I guess we also do need bandit goblins. There's bandit human and bandit goblin, okay. So we need both of them. So two points on goblins, one point on human. points on grizzly bears too. So since this guy's just right here on humans and are we doing anything? Yeah, three points on goblins. actually want to encounter them right now. Oh, they're there. Eh. Okay. Humans. Excellent. Got a little bit of everyone here. Oh well, can't win them all. Let's take this. Yeah, I think we 
need two more points on bandit goblins and three more on bandit humans. I probably won't finish that, like in this commerce round. Almost a bangle. Might get like one more bandit income. again next time. Oh wait, here's one more encounter. Oh, these are just bandit goblins. Well, that's fine. Maybe we can get the two remaining points we need on them. Lucky. Okay, it's being kind of stubborn about the points now. So let's do this. Right in the back. So. Okay, we're going to do a rebirth really quick. I think Sanified Neko is high enough. That's a good stopping point for today, so I'm going to end the live stream here, and tomorrow I will be working on Tower of Fantasy from uh, 9 a.m. to 3 uh, to uh, noon, and then we will be doing Mabinogi stuff from noon to 3. So Wednesdays and Thursdays I do Mabinogi in the afternoon for about 3 hours, and then Monday and... Friday, we put in six hours in the Mabinogi. 